guys welcome to the channel all right it's a new year and i'm very grateful to see you in this new year all right we have the hp chromebook 14 g6 for repair all right we want to put a windows on it okay and here we have that it is a uh, customized chrome os just the same way we did in the other uh, video previous video but this other method we are going to use uh, by programming the BIOS chip all right so let's first of all we are going to lose out the system lose out the board and uh, see okay then after this uh, we are going to uh, take out the BIOS from the system from the motherboard and uh, program it okay put in a new firmware all right the firmware we are going to do is going to be a Windows firmware we are not going to change it from uh, a priced um, enrollment Chrome operating system to um, the normal chrome os okay where you can put an email okay so we are going to just do this now that's the uh, we are reading the bios chip okay all right we save the the, the the firmware first we have to save the former firmware first before inserting the new firmware all right so after this um, we are going to put it back to the board the bios chip and it's going to be a windows firmware then from there we have to load in our new windows 10 light after putting in a new windows 10 light then we we put in the drivers okay but i'm not still going to show you how to put the drivers because i've already done that in my previous videos on a HP Chromebook 14. I'm just only going to drop the drivers for you guys. Now listening very well. Um, during this process, you need to get your tools. Okay, you need to have a gun station. You need to have your your normal vest or is cuff locks. You can use any of them to take off your BIOS chip. Okay, and um, it's very efficient and. You have to know the, how the temperature of your workstation for BIOS chip so that you don't burn out the BIOS chip. Okay, it's 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 going to help you on how you do it. Okay, um, as you can see, we are checking on each of them. It's not actually the same BIOS uh, chip uh, reference and um, manufacturer number. Okay, but it's going to work. If you check the reference is D, the other one is C, but it's still going to work very well. Okay, it's going to work perfectly, very, very well. This is a discovery I just made because it's hard for you to program a BIOS chip that is different manufacturer number and it works, even though the board looks exactly the same. It sometimes it doesn't work out, but this one it works. All right, I've tried this on this particular Chrome up to up to 20 pieces of this particular program and it works perfectly it works perfectly all right i want to wish you a prosperous happy new year okay i want to wish you the best this new year and we are going to work together and make sure we achieve a great 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 achievement like in our text section our text skills and uh, i have a uh, the way of telling you that yes it's not only chromebook i do repairs on i do repairs on other laptops and i'm going to be doing lectures on that other laptops any kinds of laptops or i'm going to tell you how to check a motherboard very well how to repair a motherboard very well the components that are there are i think we are going to start with the basic i'm going to start with the basic to to go down to all all from basic down to to the professional all right so i'm going to do that for you guys okay this channel is here to help you on any tip on computer repairs and also we plan on doing a review on how to be reviewing system to tell you a rightful one to buy and not the one to buy okay the one that will be good for a particular specific job for you when you want to get a pc all right so guys as you can see we are almost done here okay we are trying to fix in the network card which is called the wifi card so after fixing this um 
we'll try to fix in the keyboard and the mouse okay so the process of this is quite simple if you have your tools as i said your tools is the major uh, thing you need here i think um if you are not an ict consultant or an ict uh, uh, support professional you cannot do this okay because you you will have the tools to to do this okay and so you want to show this to those who are experts and uh, tell them that it's possible to be done okay all right so we are almost done okay so let's let's test it we're about to we're about to test it Okay. and that's our charger we plug in our charger and yeah let's come up all right we have a new firmware all right yeah we have our flash let's run a new windows on it that's a windows flash this process only require one flash where you have your bootable uh, windows 10 lights in it okay select and we we'll select our flash okay choose windows light okay also in any of my video my chromebooks uh, how to install windows 10 we i have the windows light on the channel okay i have it on the channel okay that's my mouse i'm going to use um, remember that when you are running a windows uh, windows 10 um, your your mouse and your keyboard your mouse only your mouse doesn't work all right your your drivers are not well installed you have to install your drivers uh, when you have uh, finished installing your windows okay then so um you can see you have proceeded okay all right if this video is uh, helpful and uh, you have learned a lot from it please do well to subscribe uh, like my channel and you got a long way to share my videos to my as your friends to your loved ones to those that you know that can help it can go a long way to help them and uh, help them in their skills of a uh, it support and ict consultant uh, a technician all right please uh, do what to share to them okay um i've been thinking this um from the comment section you can also tell me the kind of video you want us to be doing for you okay video that will help you video that will help you grow um you can do how to drop it on the comment section all right and also the review on systems you are going to do is based on um you are going to do it in a nigerian uh, pidgin language okay it's going to base on nigerian people who are patronizing me okay i'm going to use a language they can understand very well to break it down the reason why they should buy a particular system okay so <clears throat> we're almost done here we can see um it's loading okay so we have to wait for it where we have to put our our names and uh, if you have a password to put you can put um, I don't like putting password for my clients. I like them doing it on their own. Okay, so it's getting ready and it shouldn't get to the desktop. All right, as I said, I'm going to drop the drivers um, in the video, the description of the video. Okay, you go there, you click on the link and you get your drivers. Okay, and you drive the mouse and um, the speaker. It works very, very well. Okay most of this a uh, chromebook um system all right that has not a type c charger it's firm where you can program using this method okay where the chipset is not a flat um by bios chip all right you can see we are here to put our password okay and our names and we have done that so just a moment it will get to the desktop all right once again thank you so much for watching my videos all right i really appreciate um okay oh we are about done here okay when it gets to the desktop we are going to cut shut down all right thank you and uh, stay blessed see you in my next video